everybody and welcome to a new video on Hurricane TV. For those of you which are watching the channel the first time, great that you are here. My channel Hurricane TV is all about boatworks, carbon fiber lamination and sailing. So if you are interested in these topics the same way as I am, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell in order to be informed when new videos are posted. In episode 4.2 I'm going to show you how to make a mold for vacuum resin infusion because the new rudder blades will be produced in vacuum resin infusion technology using different layers of carbon fiber cloth and uh, this mold will be a split mold so that means we will create two halves and these two halves at the end will be infused and the parts will combine together with spe special epoxy glue and um, then part will be ready so i think i will stop talking now actually it's better less talking and i will show you how i will make this mold let's go
Hello everybody, today is really an exciting day because I'm ready with the preparation for mold making process. That means today we will start to make the mold for the rudder. And what I have prepared already I'm going to show you now. First of all we start with the rudder blade. So as you can see I have prepared the rudder blade especially on this wooden board and what you see of the rudder blade the surface you see is exactly half of the rudder blade because as I have already explained it will be a split mold and this brings me straight to the next point what I wanted to show you these are these yellow pyramids what you are seeing here these pyramids they have the purpose that the split mold fits perfectly together because as you will see in a minute we will laminate over these pyramids and the second form the other the other half of the of the form will perfectly match then into these pyramids and we can connect the two halves of the mold perfectly together Certainly I have applied multi layers of release agent as you can see here exactly 12 times so there should be no issue with demolding the part out of the mold at the end so let's keep the fingers crossed so actually this is the, the setup for the mold making and I have put the whole the whole table where the rudder is on in a separate room which you can see here and in my main workshop I have already prepared the different mold making chemistry which is the tooling gel coat after the tooling gel coat is applied, I have to wait for about two hours and after two hours we are reaching um, the point B, which is the point where the tooling gel coat is not liquid anymore, but still it will be sticky. And this is the perfect stage to apply the coupling coat. The coupling coat is applied together with a very fine glass fiber fabric and in standard wet in wet lamination technology and then um, at the end after three hours waiting approximately we can apply the tooling resin and the tooling resin is comes along together with the chop strand mat the glass fiber chop strand mat which is pretty coarse and um, yeah well that's the procedure that's the plan and I've also prepared some respiratory protective device some stick for steering some roller to remove all the air voids and the air bubbles out of the laminate the brushes and I will catalyze the resins with uh, MEKP and there is a great flask which uh, helps a lot by putting the right dose with this kind of uh, measurement device into the resin so that's also very important to work extremely accurate and precise then we have some brushes uh, a scale and yeah that's it the setup more or less most important what I did as well is to seal the entrance door of the, of the workshop because the last time when I, make, uh, when I made uh, such a mold my wife she was really furious because this polyester resin stuff uh, smells like crazy and really awful and all the house was all over uh, spoiled with this smell and she was really furious with me she said she is going to be divorced when I do it the second time so uh, yeah, I want to avoid this 
and therefore I've sealed the door completely but there is for sure another main entrance door from the outside where I can put some fresh air in so it's all good will be good fun so that's all from the preparation works I would say let's get started The hour of truth has arrived and let's unmold the brand new rudder mold now.
Hello my friends, after some polishing work the split mold is ready. And I have to say I'm really satisfied, it turned out perfect and as you can see I received a very shiny and glossy wonderful result where we can infuse layers of carbon in and produce a very nice half of a rudder blade and how I'm going to make this I will show you in the next video and um, if you are interested please subscribe my channel and ring the bell in order you are informed when the new video will be posted and for the time being I only have to say have a good time and see you in the next video